In this video, I'll share with you three different editing tips and tricks to spice up your videos and to bring them to the next level. Hey, what's up everybody? In case you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. And on this channel, we share tips and tricks on how we can make better videos with our smartphones. And I also review the latest and greatest gear. So in case that's interesting to you, you might consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I said in the intro today, I will share a bunch of cool editing tips with you that you can use directly on your smartphone. And the app that I will be using for this video is called CapCut and this video is also very kindly sponsored by CapCut but I'm using it anyways and I'm also recommending it all the time because it's a very very powerful app it works on iOS devices but also on Android devices and it even works on my computer back there you can also sync up different projects and basically there are no limits and they are constantly innovating and constantly bringing new features which is something that I very much enjoy and that's also the reason why we're doing this video today so the first feature that I will be showing you today is this cool feature where the person gets cut out from the video and then you can see a screen recording most of the time at the back of the screen. I'm sure you've seen these kinds of videos on social media before and actually doing something like this on a normal computer within Premiere Pro for example actually takes quite some time and quite some skills but on our smartphones within CapCut it only takes about a minute or so. All right so this is what the CapCut app looks like and as you can see I have already created a bunch of different projects because I'm constantly using it also for my own social media stuff and what we will be doing for now is create a new project and then you can see I can import a bunch of different clips the one that I will be importing first will be the background for this video so I have created a screen recording and I want to have this in the background of my video so I'll just import that and that's basically what the timeline looks like. So the next thing that we need to do is very simple. And at the bottom here, we have a bunch of different options that we can pick from. And in case you want to have a full walkthrough of the entire app, then click this video over there because I have done that already. The one that we need to pick right now is called overlay. And then we just tap on add overlay. And then we will just pick any of these clips right here. I'll, I don't know, that one maybe doesn't really matter. So I'll just pick that one. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's now already overlaid over the first clip that we have already imported. So we need to select this clip and then again, scroll through our different options. And then we find this option right here that is called cut out. Just tap on that. And then the only thing that you got to do, and that's crazy, that's magic really, just tap on remove background. And then it's basically already done. You can see it's rendering in the background. But basically, yeah, it's already done. And then you can just accept that. Then you can, of course, reframe yourself like however you want it. And that's pretty much how all the cool influencers are doing this when they are showing off charts and whatever. So yeah, it's super easy. And I think it's also doing a very nice job considering I was not using a green screen or anything like this. And also considering my hair is crazy. <laughs> so yeah, actually it works really nice and yeah, very cool feature. The next feature that I wanna show you is also a very simple one, but a very useful one. And that is all about, you know, enhancing your audio and removing background noise from your audio having clear sounding audio is one of the most important things and that's also the reason why I'm using this microphone right here so that you can hear me clearly when you're on the go and shooting with your smartphone most of the times you probably will not have any proper audio with you so you are just recording yourself like this and the internal microphones of our smartphones these days they are pretty good, but they are just not perfect at all. And CapCut does have a very cool feature in how you can enhance your audio and how you can remove some of the background noise. And it's also very simple. I will again just create a new project. So I will pick this clip right here because there I was not using a proper microphone and I'm just importing this. And this is again what the timeline looks like. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to select the clip and then we gotta extract the audio because then we have basically two layers the upper one is the video and the one below is the audio file and now we can only select the audio file and then we have a bunch of different voice effects so you can you know you can play around with that there are also a bunch of nice options there but what we want for this video and what i want to show you is on the very right right here it says reduce noise just tap on that and then basically like we have been doing before it's basically only just a simple tap so just enable this 
and then the noise reduction is in process and now we'll now play you the clip with the before and the after one way and how you can make your smartphone videos look more sin one way and how you can make your smartphone videos look more sin so let me know what you think but overall i gotta say it's just crazy like what this program can do with just a simple tap and it's very user friendly very easy to use so whenever you're filming yourself without a proper microphone make sure to use this feature and last but not least i got one more cool feature to show you and that's matching the beats of music to your video clips or to your photos and in the past I have been doing this by myself manually and also we did a commercial for BMW in the past <laughs> And I got a bunch of different questions like asking me like how I was doing this because it feels so natural and it flows so nice. And basically the reason why it was working so nice and why it looked so nice is because I was matching the beat of the music to my cuts. And CapCut does also have a cool feature for this and I'll now show you how this works. I have already created a project for this. It's this one right here. And as you can see, I have imported a bunch of different clips that I was shooting in Vienna with uh, a parkour girl running through the streets basically. So what I wanna do is I wanna import an audio file and then I wanna select the beats and then I wanna cut my audio to the beats of the music. So first thing that we gotta do is we just tap on audio here at the bottom and then just tap on sounds. And that's something that's really cool. This is now connected to the TikTok audio library. And there you basically got thousands of different songs that you can use for your TikTok videos, for example. So yeah, I'll just pick any song right here. Doesn't really matter. There are some nice beats, so I'll just use that one but you can of course use whatever sound that you like the sound library that i'm usually using for my video is from artlist in case you want to get two extra free months i will also link that down below but now as you can see we have our video and also the sound file and it's again very very simple that's something that i really like about CapCut because it's just so simple to use so we just select the music that we have just imported and then you can see at the bottom here where it says beats just tap on that and then basically you got two different options. You could either just listen to the song and add beats by yourself manually, just like, okay, here might be a beat. You can listen to it and of course do it manually. And that's, you know, sort of the old way on how I used to do it. So I'll just delete that very quickly. Or there's a second option, the new way as I wanna call it, and that's to auto-generate the beats by CapCut. And basically all we gotta do is we tap on auto-generate and then you have two different options. You have beat two. There you can see you have a bunch of markers or you can use beat one and there it's only, you know, marking the, I don't know how to call it, but the more essential beats. And I think for this video that I'm doing, I think that works better. So I'll just accept that. And now, as you can see, we have these, you know, yellow marks right here. And this is basically this marks where our cut should be. So now the only thing that we need to do, just select the coolest part of your video clip, split it up right here delete that then we will set our first cut right here we will maybe just make a jump cut so set another cut right here delete that portion then we set another cut right here and then we will just delete the rest of the first clip then we have our second clip we again just pick up the best parts of this video and there she will be doing a salto salto i don't know how it's called in english but that's of course the coolest part so we delete that part again then we have another marker, we delete the rest and so on and so forth. And of course it depends on the amount of video clips that you have, it depends on the song that you have and so on. But that's basically how it works, that's a massive help, it massively speeds up the entire process. And overall, again, it's very, very simple to use. So there you have it. These are three of my personal favorite features of CapCut, but as I said, there are basically no limits and the amount of features that this program or this app has to offer is basically absolutely amazing. You can definitely check it out for yourself. I will link it down below. It will be the first link. And like I said, it's completely for free. So why not just give it a shot? In case you would like to learn more about filming with your smartphone, I will also link you our free masterclass down below where I'm sharing the top five secrets for making awesome looking videos with your smartphone. And in case you have not seen the video where I'm showing you how you can color grade your videos using CapCut, then click this video over there.